Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're going to be talking all about the benefits of the reset. Doing a reset will not only keep your home tidy, it's also going to help clear your mind and it's going to set you up for productivity. I'm going to be sharing with you several different resets that I do here in my home. Now you will see me in different outfits because I'm going to be filming throughout the week as I do them. But come along with me into the kitchen as I start my morning reset. I'm filming this on a Tuesday and I know it because of the bottle. My grandsons come to hang out with me on Mondays where I homeschool the oldest boy and the two younger ones get to play and you know do their fun stuff. But the baby is just a tiny little baby and when his mother's not here, I give him a bottle of breast milk. So I went ahead and I um, washed the bottle. I had it set out overnight so it can dry and I just go ahead and put it away with my morning dishes. Now, one of the first things that I do when I come into the kitchen, beside make, besides making the coffee, is I go ahead and I unload the dishwasher. This way it will be empty and throughout the day, we will put in all of our dirty dishes, like the coffee cups that we used in the morning and any plates or pans that we used for breakfast. The majority of my resets are set up into my routines and those routines are then divided up throughout the week. Now here you're seeing me do my morning routine and then I also have my evening routine which includes resetting this kitchen and I do that by cleaning off the counters, the stove, filling the dishwasher and shining my sink. You see, my evening routine complements my morning routine, just as my morning routine sets up my kitchen for a less chaotic evening. If you're new here, I have a weekly cleaning schedule. It's downloadable, you can print it. Um, I send you two copies. One is my personal copy. The second one is empty-ish. It does have some things written in there, but it's empty enough for you to fill out your own personal weekly cleaning schedule. It also comes along with a playlist of videos that's gonna help you to um, fill yours out. Now, if you send me an email, I will get that to you. I want to thank those of you who have gone over to my Instagram and started following me over there. Um, I really am able to share more over there than when I am here on YouTube. Um, you see more of my real life. You see more of my everyday life. You see more of my health routines and me with my grandkids and me with my daughters and things that I'm doing around the house and, and behind the scenes of what I'm doing when I'm filming. Um, I'm just able to be much more interactive um, over there with you. Now, some of you asked me to go ahead and start a Facebook account because you don't follow Instagram. So that's what I did this week is I went ahead and I started a Facebook account. I'm beginning to put things over there on that page and I would absolutely love to see you over there. I would love to see everybody's faces, you know? Um, I am pretty interactive, um, especially over on Instagram. So I will be doing the same thing over there on Facebook. I'd love to have you there.
Okay, so now I'm headed into my bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed. Now, the first thing that I do in the morning is I like to get on my treadmill. I do my treadmill and I also do my weights. I share a lot of that over on Instagram. So the bed is no longer the first thing that I do in the morning because if I put off getting on that treadmill, I will put it off a day, two, three, you know what I mean? So I make it a priority to get my hiney on that treadmill. So after the treadmill, I go in and, you know, I drink my electrolytes. I, you know, take my supplements, have a little bit of coffee. Then I'll do my morning reset in my kitchen. Then I'll come here in the bedroom, do the morning reset in the bedroom, and do the morning reset in the bathrooms. Every morning I turn on my Roomba, that way he can bounce around this room and get the carpet clean for me. Okay, so here we are in the primary bathroom and I'm gonna go ahead and do my morning routine in here. Now, whatever you see me doing here, I also do in the hall bathroom, which is our guest bathroom, or also I call it my grandkids bathroom. I alternate these bathrooms every other day. So today I'll be doing the primary bathroom, and then what you see me doing here today, I will be doing tomorrow in the guest bathroom. This will help to keep both of these areas tidy until I get to my deep cleaning in those areas, and I do that during my zone cleaning. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick clean. We're just wiping down the counter with a, with a little cloth. Um, I think I'm using the Clorox cleanup cloth. Um, just going to wipe everything down, and then I will spray the mirror and only clean the part of the mirror that's dirty. I'm not doing the whole mirror, just cleaning any of the mirror that might be dirty. Okay? <music> Okay, before I pull out my stick vacuum and quickly vacuum these floors, I'm going to go ahead and grab the towels and the bath mats. I do these once a week. If you're looking for a sensible laundry routine, I have a video for that. I will link it above and I'll also link it at the end of this video.
last night while I was refilling my bath salts container, I got some here on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a quick vacuum too. Right, so this is a new day and on this day is when I get into the refrigerator and I just give it a quick tidy. I've already ordered my groceries. I'll be picking them up here in just a little bit and I want to get in here and pull out anything that is no longer good, rearrange the things to where I know where everything's at and wipe down any of the counters that have anything dirty on there. Um, this is a really good reset to do every week. That way you're not purchasing things that you don't need and things aren't going bad in your refrigerator. So that's what you're going to see me doing now. I'm going to go ahead and just get everything nice and um, tidied up, get it nice and organized. Then we're going to go pick up some um, groceries. On this day, I also go and wash my car. Since I'm going to be out picking up the groceries, I might as well wash my car. So we'll be doing that as well. And because I was sure to do my morning routine, my dishwasher is nice and empty and ready for me to put in any dirty dishes. So I have a few that I pulled out of the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and um, put them in the dishwasher. That way the kitchen remains set for the evening. I like to have everything nice and clean because who wants to cook in a messy kitchen, right? Nothing makes me not want to cook in a kitchen than if it's messy or if there's dishes in the sink and it's just, you know, all the things. So, okay, let's get the tops of the counters cleaned off. This is just a quick clean. We're not doing a deep clean in here. I do deep cleans in here when I do my zone cleaning in this, um, in this zone. So um, I don't need to do a deep clean, but you always need to do a maintenance clean. Any room that you're in, you need to do a maintenance team, uh, clean or any zone that you're in. You should have a maintenance clean set up for that zone so that it remains tidy in between deep cleaning. And you will find that on my weekly cleaning list. Okay, so now we're at the car wash. Now, this isn't going to make sense, but I go to the car wash once a week, rain or shine. So on the day that I pick up my groceries, I also wash my car. Now, 
the reason that I say it doesn't make sense is who really goes and washes their car when it rains, right? Well, I do. <laughs> and the reason is, is because I have one of those passes that I can get my car washed um, every day if I want to. So since I'm out and I'm picking up groceries, I always go and wash my car, even if that means just a quick wash, and then I get in there and I vacuum it. Everything's covered with awnings, so I can do a quick vacuum even if it's raining. Um, I just like to keep it, you know, as tidy as I possibly can. Now, I do have a whole slew of grandkids, and my car holds uh, three car seats and one booster seat. So my car is always full of car seats. I did have my daughter take out three of the bigger ones because they're just way too heavy for me to take out and then um, I have a booster seat in here so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get cleaned up all the things that little kids leave in the car candy and sticky stuff and I'm going to get all that cleaned up we did just go to SeaWorld that's why you see my SeaWorld cup so I have lots of SeaWorld um, you know snacks and things like that in the car but anyways let's go ahead and get this nice and tidy give it a good clean wipe down the seats wipe down the um, dashboard um, all the things. These mats have to be taken out and spray washed with my pressure washer. They don't have anything like that here that I can use. They do have one of the machines where you can put it in and it'll clean it, but it will not do it for these heavier mats like this. So those all have to be done at home. And whenever I pressure wash out um, in my courtyard, I like to go ahead and pull out my mats and give them a good pressure wash as well. You'll see along with the crumbs and the dirt and things like that you're gonna see a lot of pet fur because um, I do carry my dog Olive Grace and um, oftentimes I will pick up Madeline's dog Indigo and they come in the car and they are big hairy beasts so they like to get lots of fur <laughs> on these rugs and as you know car rugs everything sticks to that right Madeline loaned me this interior detail cleaner and it smells absolutely fabulous. You just spray it on, use a microfiber cloth, wipe it off, and it just smells so good. Now, I did link it over on um, Instagram. Um, she bought it at Walmart where you can get it for a really good price. But um, I linked, I put a link for it on Instagram in my Instagram stories and um, Amazon jacked up the price like a crazy price like 20 something dollars and thankfully one of my followers on um on instagram let me know what happened so i was able to you know take it down but 
anyways, um, this stuff smells absolutely fabulous. You can see if it's cheaper on um, Amazon now, but um, my daughter said that she got it from Walmart, so. Okay, everything feels and smells nice and clean. Now, I do like to use these auto scents. These are little air fresheners. This one smells like new leather. Um, when you open them up, they look like these little, I don't know, satchels, I guess. And I just put two or three in the car. I just stick them underneath the seat, throw some in the back with the kids because, you know, they can be stinky, right? Throw some of those back there underneath those seats. And this just keeps the car smelling fresh. It only lasts like a week or two. So um, since I clean my car every week, I'll just go ahead and take those out and pop in some new ones. All right, let's go to the grocery store and pick up all the groceries. Got my car washed and it's gonna rain. <laughs> <laughs> Never put it on. 
I filmed this the Wednesday before Easter when I thought it was only going to be me and my husband and my mother-in-law here for Easter. Um, but thankfully, uh, my daughter and her family came and uh, we were able to have a swim party and also celebrate Easter together. Oh my goodness, I ordered a ham. Um, and uh, they gave me a ham. I'm talking. It's a huge ham. So it's only going to be three of us eating. So I'm going to have to um, use my handy dandy vacuum sealer that my son Blake got me for um, Christmas and um, vacuum seal a lot of that ham. So. All right, here, take a look at this ham. <laughs> that is a huge ham, right? You weren't supposed to get into. Huh? Let's see if I can grab one more. All right. Come on. I know you're super excited, but you know none of this is for you, right? Not a single thing in here that's for you. Huh? I know. But I'll probably share some of the yogurt and some blueberries with you. Like I always do. Okay, let's take this in and we can bring in the drinks. Come on. are all going to go straight into the laundry room so I don't need to carry these into the kitchen. You ready girl? You ready? Okay that was a workout. Alright all right, let's start unpacking. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Okay, let me give you a quick haul. This right here is the big old ham. This is some ground turkey. This is um, some veggies with some ranch dip. These are great to snack on at night. Bethany and I on homeschool day, we like to um, each have one of these. Got some broccoli, got some Brussels sprouts. These are low carb, no carb, love these right here. Grandkids like the Dino Bites. Husband likes almond milk. I got a couple of apples. Be sure when you are ordering um, for pickup that you put how many apples you want because you'll just get one like I did last time. <laughs> right here, some seafood and um, broccoli. These are seafood stuffed salmon. Um, these are very good. This right here is to go with my sweet potato casserole for Easter. 
um, some blueberries, some tomatoes. I like to just pop in the fridge and grab me a handful of those. I got Michael the low carb. Um, what are these things called? Egg bites. Yeah. Right here. This is really good. I just add in some um, steamed broccoli and got yourself a nice little lunch. Very low carb. Um, some Irish butter. Some creamer. Let's see, cottage cheese. I get two of these. I really like cottage cheese. Um, the best olive oil I can find um, on the market, although I am going to be ordering some um, from another company that I'm really excited to get. Right here's some Coffee Mate. My husband loves this, but guys, this stuff is terrible for you. <laughs> Cream of mushroom to go into the green bean casserole. Um, love beets in the morning with my breakfast. Um, I just cook up some ground turkey, add in some Brussels sprouts, and I have some um, whole beets with it, and I add a handful of blueberries in there. Love it. Diced tomatoes. This right here, my grandsons love these, and I didn't have them on hand on Monday when we did homeschool, and um, little Ryan, he's two, he'll be three soon. Um, he was asking for his um, Belvita, and I didn't have any for him. So, anyways, that's my haul. Oh, wait. This right here for Easter. Just um, throw those into the oven and um, have some yeast rolls. And that's it. I've shown these once before, but this is our meal delivery service that we have um, delivered once a week. On Wednesdays, they deliver it to me here. Um, they are fresh meals. They're called Eat Clean, as you can see. Um, you can choose from paleo, keto, um, traditional, all different types. Um, we get these for our lunches. I get three for myself, three for Michael. And um, this is what we eat, um, like I said, for our lunches. So um, I find them to be very good. My husband is no longer liking them, so I have canceled the order. But I do think that they taste good. All right, so once I get these in, I like to divide them up into Michael's and then to mine. Um, I do keto and paleo. And um, he does just a natural, like a Mediterranean type diet. So... This one seems like it's mine. This one's his. That one's his. So one of these other ones must be his. Let's see. This one right here. Okay, Let's stick these in the fridge and then I'm done. <laughs> Michael's goes on the top shelf and mine go right here on the bottom shelf. Okay, so now we're on day three and what I'm gonna be showing you today is the power hour. Now this is also called the weekly home blessing if you follow the fly lady system. I have changed it up a little bit, but anyways, in my power hour, I like to push through 
for one hour and get a list of tasks done in order to help my um, home stay tidy in between those deep cleans. Okay, I'm gonna start here with the bed and I'm gonna take the sheets off. Now, I used to do this during my power hour. I would go ahead and clean um, the sheets in the power hour, but obviously that's gonna take longer than the hour that you have to accomplish the other tasks, okay? So if you wanna keep it in the power hour, go ahead and do it and just know that it's gonna take you longer. Um, I've um, since switched my routine to Sundays um, so that we are washing our sheets on Sundays. That way I have Michael's help to get the sheets back on the bed. Because as you can see, this is a big bed and it's very difficult for me to reach to the center of the bed and get that center one on. So if I can have Michael's help, all the better, right? But I went ahead and I did it on this day because Sunday is Easter and I don't wanna be doing the sheets on Easter. So let's go ahead and get these washed into the dryer and then here in a little bit, we'll get them put back on the bed. So last night I was so excited to get in my box of waterless skincare. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, you've seen that I've been talking all about Oliveda. I started with their internal line which has hydroxytyrosol in it. Now, I dare you to look up hydroxytyrosol and see the benefits in it. They put hydroxytyrosol in their internals and they also put it into um, the elixirs and the creams and all that of their waterless skincare. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you have seen the remarkable difference in just one week of using these products. I put up a before and an after exactly one week apart in the same lighting, in the same room, in the same clothes, and you can see a before and after, and it has made such a major difference in my skin and in my body. The internals with the hydroxytyrosol has really helped to bring down the inflammation in my body. If you don't know, I have RA. I also have chronic Epstein-Barr, and these products help with both of those things. And then the skincare helps on the outside, and I am noticing a huge difference. So I would love for you guys to go follow me over on Instagram so that you can get updates on, on what's going on with my skin and my health. Um, I will also put a link to Oliveda um, down in the link box, um, down in the comments, not the comments, down in the description box. So that way um, you guys can go take a look at it. If you have any questions, always feel free to email me. Okay, now that the sheets are in the wash, we're gonna go ahead and start on that list. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to give everything a quick dusting, okay? Again, this is very quick. I can go through this house in less than five minutes and dust everything quickly. You're not picking up things, you're dusting the dust off of the things. You will see me picking up a couple of things because I'm a little crazy like that, but, um, the, the key is really not to be picking up your knickknacks, things like that, dusting underneath them. You're just wanting to get the dust that's sitting on top of things down onto the ground. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go right around my house and I'm going to dust all the things that I think is important to get dusted once a week. Like I said, the power hour is intended to help keep your house maintained in between those deep cleanings. So if I did not um, come in here and dust once a week in this room, by the time I get in here in six weeks and I do my zone cleaning in this room, that dust is gonna be very, very thick. Plus my asthma would be bothering me. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know, do the dusting once a week. Again, this is how I'm able to maintain a tidy home. And then one of the other things I do is I do the floors. So since I did all that dust, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start the Roomba here in this room and let the Roomba just bounce around the room and vacuum the floors for me. And then I'll come in here in the bathroom and I will do the same thing in the bathroom. I go through each room of the house and I do this with the exception of my husband's office. I don't go in there and mess with his stuff. He takes care of that area.
on Monday, we do homeschooling here at my house with um, one of my grandsons. And during our breaks and um, things like that, we work on this puzzle. So I'm not going to be um, moving that. Although I will have to move it for Easter dinner. I think I'll just scooch it down that way. And because I don't want to mess up any of our progress. So the next thing that I like to do is I like to shine the glass. I'll go around the house and I will shine any glass that has any spots. And we're going to start right here on these sliders. Just fold it up. And stick it in the little holes there. There we go. Let's get busy. This makes cleaning these windows so much easier. Before I would have to pull out a step stool um, in order to get all these windows clean. Now typically, you know, I tell you only clean the dirty parts of the window, but I have to clean this window a lot because you can see that there is a green belt back there. There's also a lake back there and it blows a lot of stuff up onto these windows. So at least once a week, I like to come in here and get the outside of the windows clean. And then um, definitely, Every time I do my power hour, I will be sure that I clean the inside where the spots are. Okay, so another thing on the list is to vacuum your floors. Now you should be vacuuming your high traffic areas. You do not have to vacuum your whole home because that's gonna take a lot longer than an hour. Now I vacuum this living room every single morning. That's why I went ahead and added it in um, so that way I can have it vacuumed for the day. But um, I have my Roomba going on in the room and I'll go ahead and vacuum the rest of the high traffic areas throughout the home.
Now, I know it looks like I'm doing a much deeper vacuum than what I'm actually doing. Okay, so during the week, I have my um, robot vacuum vacuuming the house every single day. So it'll vacuum everything except for um, the primary bedroom and the primary bathroom. Um, I do those separately. I have my Roomba, as you saw, in the primary bedroom, and then I have a vacuum in my closet that I do my um, floors in the bathroom and in that closet. So in this area right here, I usually have my robot vacuuming every single day for me. With the exception of the rug in the living room, I do pull out my Dyson every morning to vacuum that rug. It just gets so um, collected with fur from my cat and my dog, especially my dog. And um, I just like to be sure that I'm getting all that up. Plus, there's only so much room in one of those robot vacuum receptacles that will hold all that. And if I allow it to do that carpet along with the rest of the house, then I'm having to clean that little receptacle out a couple of times. So I just go ahead and I take care of the carpet in the living room. I know that it looks like I'm doing the whole home, but I'm actually only doing the high traffic areas of the home. So you'll see like when I go into the um, guest bedroom. I'm only doing the traffic areas where people walk around the bed or go to the crib or things like that. So again, just do your high traffic areas. I'm also doing these rugs and then I'm going to pull up the rugs because I need to go ahead and mop underneath them. Next thing in the power hour is to pull out a wet mop. You can either use your e-cloth wet mop. If you want to pull out your spin mop, you can do that. Um, I'm going to be using my Yiddy um, Mop Pro Max. Um, he's a vacuum and mopping system, and I like to use him. I use him two or three times a week, but I'm going to go ahead and lift these carpets and have him um, mop underneath the carpets. Um, again, you're only going to be mopping your high traffic areas. Okay, so now I've got my sheets in the dryer. I'm going to go ahead and throw my throw blankets into the wash. And um, while those are washing and drying, I will go into the primary bathroom and we will give that a quick mop.
Watching me put on these sheets is going to explain why I now do the sheets on um, Sunday and get Michael's help because this is just, I don't know. You'll see. First of all, I'm short. Second of all, the bed is taller than a normal bed. And then third of all, it's got that, that middle piece that I've got to put another corner on. So where you only have two corners at the top, I've got four corners. So um, it just makes it much more difficult. But anyways, that's the whole reason why I do it on Sundays now because I can get Michael's help. So I hope that you're now seeing the tremendous benefits of the resets. Combining each of these resets, it's going to set your day up for enhanced productivity. You're no longer spending one full day trying to clean up all the things that you've been tripping over all week. And you're going to feel a weight lifted when you leave your house in the morning knowing that when you return, your bed is going to be made and your kitchen will be ready for you to prepare a nice dinner in peace. And by adding in that sensible laundry routine, you won't spend an additional full day washing, drying, and folding all that laundry. I'll leave the sensible laundry routine right here for you to go see next, and I will see you again next Sunday. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. <music>